it's still from Ladrum Stores here. We just had a delivery, uh, but there's um, a few items missing, and we've got we've got one extra that, I, that we didn't order. When we came to Lagan over 10 years ago, uh, the shop was a community-run shop and it had been for 18 years. Um, but like many businesses, it had kind of come to a sort of natural end and um, there was nobody in the community wanting to take it on and, and take it further. And it, it actually closed for a few months. Then when nobody came forward to take on the shop and it another couple of months went by with it, nobody buying it, um, Ian and I, in a mad moment, <laughs> offered to, to to buy the shop to try and make a go of it. So that's how we how it came about. We hadn't a clue. We had never been in retail before, although we'd been in the service sector with our own business. Uh, as an independent store within the Spar Group, uh, Spar helped us set up and have been incredibly supportive and, and continue to be. Uh, we've broadened from our original convenience store set up to having a, an amazing range, two and a half thousand items, and we've got uh, lots of herbs and spices and foods from all over the world. Uh, we've got table wines to fine wines. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of coils of rope somewhere. We've got some screws and nails and household goods and uh, all the usual sort of cleaning materials, uh, souvenirs, postcards, pretty well you name it. Uh, somebody staying locally said, uh, if it's not in Lagan stores, then you don't need it. <laughs> that probably sums us up. <laughs> Lag Lagan stores is, is a vital part of the community. They stock everything from everyday items, washing up liquid, tins of soup, to organic milks and cheeses. They're a vital link. They, you, can, you, can, you can live for a week. My mother-in-law only shops in Lagan stores. Uh, it's her sole sole place where she goes to and buys everything she needs for me with the guest house it's fantastic having it on the doorstep i send all our guests here to buy wine to have with evening meals um, i send them here to buy things for their afternoon snacks while they're out and about the shop and the staff in the shop they recommend us and other local places they recommend touristy things to places to go the monarch of the glen places to go and see fountain information great place for village gossip and meeting people and socialising, the traditional way of socialising, interacting with people. The shop is the place. For us, when we moved here, we were so thrilled to find there was a village store. If we'd, if we'd come to this village without a village shop, I, I don't know whether we'd have actually bought an establishment in, in the village. And it's been a key, it's been a key thing for, for us and we're very, very supportive of the shop. We do work with the shop on how we order things and what we buy and we know, we know we're appreciated by them as well and we appreciate them. The premises were built, the main building was built way back in the, about the 1860s and there's been a shop here since then. And um, the shop comprises uh, one big Victorian style building and downstairs we have the, the shop and uh, you come in a door at the side and it looks very small and then people go around the corner and they realise just how, how big it is and then there's a lean-to, what we call the lean-to at the back and uh, there's, that's where we've got household goods and second-hand books. And then upstairs there's a three-bedroom flat and uh, we use one of the rooms as an office so we rent out a uh, sitting dining room, kitchen, bathroom and two bedrooms which are lovely and quiet because they're at the top and they look up out the hills and they're uh, you can't, can't hear any traffic or anything uh, from there. And then across the road we've got uh, what we call the Community Resource Centre and the post office runs there on a Thursday afternoon for two hours. Graham comes from Newton Moore to run the post office. And then the other part of the building is our store. Uh, where all the goods, the main, main bulk of the goods can come straight in there. The ones that don't need to be um, chilled go straight in there onto the shelves. We have a freezer there as well. And then next to that is what we call the compound and that's where we have gas cylinders which we sell colour gas. And then we have a metal shed which has got uh, hen food, horse food, um, the, bulk, the bulk feed that we don't have room for in the shop. So all of that makes up the Lagan Stores premises.
Um, our customers, I suppose, break into roughly four groups. There's the our customers that live locally, and they are incredibly important to a small shop because they come and shop all year round. Uh, so they give us our bedrock, our foundation of, of, of customers. Uh, we then have um, passing trade, many of whom know we're here, or maybe people working in the area, maybe building a house or, or fencing or, some, or something like that. Uh, and then there's the visitor trade, and they come uh, because the highlands are so beautiful, or maybe doing a round trip, Loch Ness, Inverness, round this way, um, or they're coming to stay in the in the area and they come from all over the world and um, because this area was used for the Monarch of the Glen BBC series um, I would say virtually every day of the year we get somebody coming in from somewhere um, to, to, to visiting the area because of the, the series and that, that's very important uh, customer base for us and then there's the self-catering and holiday trade the people who are coming to stay for a week in the area and that's a big area that we've built up in terms of custom because we, they can email us um, a list of provisions and we get that in for them and then we deliver it to the holiday cottages before they arrive. And so they don't need to worry if they've got a full car or it's hot or they're, or they're held up. You know, the chills in the fridge, the freezing, fr frozen's in the freezer and other stuff is there waiting for them. Our very key estate um, is incredibly uh, supportive of us and I, th I think it helps them as well because people coming there sometimes think oh it's a bit far away and I won't be able to shop and then they realise that there is a shop nearby that is, has got a very wide range of, of items and, um, and it's always a lovely place to visit as well because it's so, so beautiful there. And the furthest we deliver at the moment is to Karauri State. Again, they contacted us to say, could we supply their holiday cottages? That's, um, that's quite a long trip. It's a wonderful, you know, it takes about an hour to get there. <laughs> we have to charge a delivery charge for that. But it's a, it's a fantastic place to, to visit. Well, now that we've had the shop for seven years from when we sort of first got the keys, we feel it's time to hand it on to someone else that can, can develop it uh, further because there's lots of ideas that, that we have but we don't really have the, the energy for. And uh, the community needs a shop like this. I mean, we've got an excellent uh, primary school, we've got a surgery, we've got a church. And of course, once a store, the local store goes, all these things are, are put at risk. So we definitely want to sell it to someone who will continue with it as a, as a, as a local, local store. And uh, although we're retiring, we're staying in the area and we'd be delighted to support the new owners in any way that we could. <laughs>